Oh no, it's raining again. So, we can't do the netting as at the moment. We can't do the netting, me and Mick. Mick's gone off to get some more gas. Uh, to get another tank of gas. For uh, for up in his, uh, his polytunnel. So, while we're waiting for a break in the weather. I'm going to get some more stuff done inside this tiki hut. Because the tiki hut is looking like a... Like a skip at the minute. I'll show you. So I've been collecting the uh, the crisp packet boxes, as you can see there. And there's also all of this detritus that we've got over there. Look at the state of that. So yeah, it's a mess. It's a mess in here. So I'm going to have a tidy round while we're uh, waiting for the break in the weather. Like I say, there's always something that you can do down at your allotment. And this is overdue. So let's get it on. There we are. There's all the cardboard stuffed underneath there. Mostly detaped. I'll check it before I put it out. Oh, hang on. Stick that on there. Much neater, much tidier. You can see where everything is now. I've got quite a bit more space, actually. So yeah, we're ready, and it's broken the weather, so we're going to try, um, try and get that netting sorted out today. I think the door may have to wait, so let's get over there anyway. Right, let's go up and see Magic Mick, <coughs> see what he's up to. Oh, ah. <laughs> yippee ki yay! Yeah, just reaches that one piece. Yeah. It would have been that, that two pieces in all of it. I think it would. I don't think those, those are two metres, I think they're bigger. I think the three metre ones, then. Well, I think you'd probably just be right with two pieces. Because if you look where it stitches are, that's, that's well more than two metres, isn't it? Yeah. It's about three, at least three, that I'd say. So yeah, Henry's done your parade there, mate. Isn't he? Let's see if we can get it all in shot. It's all about the aesthetics, mate. <laughs> so yeah, you can see the and the base. As we said before, it's going to be rolled and it's going to be like this in the end. With just a covering piece on top and that'll keep it all firm and tight. Just a bit of patch in there. That happened about two days after we put it up there. But that's, that's what it's going to look like. Oh, it's very similar to that. Only made out of trampolines rather than a a real bought tent. It's going to be a trampoline tent, that. And it looks no bet no worse than the other ones. In fact, I think it's better. Because these are actually wider than these ones. So it's going to be more sturdy, more stable, more robust in its construction. Right, well, we'll crack on. And that's the back face of it. Just zip side off once we've completed it. You just uh, trim off the excess what you've got here. Bit of excess. And there you go. Make sure staple it down to the base there. Just temper it and let well, it's not temper it all, but that's the piece of wood all there. Yeah. 
Hand, handy buttons they call me, can't we? Handy buttons, yeah. You can get them in different lengths. So you can get eight foot, I think, at uh, the handy button, which is two inches by one inch. Handy buttoning. Which we did on that one. And there it is, we're almost there with it, Mix. Tight as a drum. Tight as a trampoline. Tight as a trampoline, definitely. That's for certain. It's uh, it's looking the part, that definitely. Mix sort of put a sliding door on the front of this in the same way that he's done on this one here. And twin wall polycarb one that he created, and I think it's ace. This it really is. Got the ventilation in the side and everything here. That's one of the uh, automatic lifters, so when it gets hot, that'll lift up. And it's for tomatoes and um, and peppers and stuff, cucumbers in here. It's also got a vine there, grapevine, running around. He's running that along the top there, to the, to the other side. It's like a miniature version of Tony O'Neill's, but made out of twin wall polycarp. And this gets really, really intense sun coming through. It's great, this. For your tomatoes but you can also cool it down obviously you can share it out if you wanted to um yeah it's a good bit of work he's done some sterling work on here mate you know the uh the big top polytunnel again it was all cheap that was that's cost about 10 pounds and that's only the zip ties the staples that's about it Zip ties and staples, isn't it, mate? Yeah, tenner. Ten quid. I think it's just a bit less than a tenner. Well, that's only because that debt was donated. Probably be another 40 quid, wouldn't it? If you with, yeah, with, with the net, yeah. It's still not bad because if you bought a tunnel that big, uh, it's just off three or four hundred quid, isn't it? You are? It's definitely. I actually priced them up because I was looking at them to get a uh, to get a polytunnel one. Um, what was the polytunnel place called? First tunnels. First tunnels. And they're a good outfit. But to get one bespoke, you know, to get one that you want to create your own tunnel out of, a purpose built one, you're talking seven or eight hundred quid for something that size. For something the size of this. All in, seven or eight hundred pounds. Fifteen quid that one. <laughs> that was 15 quid. But obviously, he's actually got the poly from oh, yeah, um, nothing, first tunnels, isn't he? Yeah, because they've had a big hole in the neck before we put that on. Yeah. Big hole on that side. But yeah, it's all looking great, mate. We'll have to do one on, on we're, we're going to be doing one on uh, on that, our side, on that side, the little farmer's side. But we just need a couple of uh, trampolines, so I'd better get my finger out and get them sorted out for next weekend. Because that's the plan. Right. Thank you very much, Rick. Cheers, Always a pleasure, never a chore. Back to work for me for five days. Yep, back on the wagons. Come back now to refresh. Off the truck wagon onto a big wagon. Yeah. <laughs> the cowboy wagon, we've completed, he's on the big wagon now. Right then, nice one. So, we'll see you all later. Take care, keep growing with your head down. Adios. Adios, amigos. Well,